Hey, so we all know that Singapore has chickens, right? And even if we don't see them, you could hear them like what you did just now. <laughs> but do you know that we also have this fluffy, fluffy pong pong chicken? Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello! So, after my pink neck green pigeon video with Emmanuel, it seems like more and more kids are asking me some animal questions. And this time around, I've actually got a question from one of my patrons, Mama and Momo, and they are asking, I came across these chickens this morning and I finally managed to take a video of them. Many people all are wondering what kind of chicken are they. Would you please make an episode on this? Well, of course I will, and you know the drill, so let's all welcome Joanna and Pao Pao! Say hi! Hi! Yeah! So Joanna, why do you like to watch Little Red Jungle? I find the episodes really interesting and I can get to enjoy nature and science at the same time. Oh, that's nice, that's nice! Then what is your favourite episode? My favourite episode is the Grey Crown Crane because it is a very interesting and unique bird and there's only one kind of that bird in Singapore. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's true, that's true. So do you really like birds a lot? Um... <laughs> do you really like birds a lot? Yeah. Do you like birds? So, I mean, you did request for this chicken episode specifically. So, how come you said got special chicken, right? What do they, how do these chickens even look like? Um, at first, <laughs> when I first saw the chickens, I thought they were dogs because uh -huh. they had fur all over them. Right. But when you look closely, um, they are similar to chickens. Uh huh. So, what do you think this chicken is called? Silkies. Yes, they are called silky chickens. So, where do you usually find these silky chickens? Um, at HTV blocks. HTV blocks, right? You see them around, even and even some near you. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? Let's go find them. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. So these are actually called silky chickens, you know, like what uh, Joanna said. And they're actually the same species as the jungle fowls or, or the regular chickens that you see in the forests or the chicken in the farms. And yep, they are the same species. But they are basically a different breed. So Joanna, do you know what breeds are? You mean like dog breeds? Yeah, like exactly, like dog breeds. What are breeds? Like different types of the kind of animal. Mm, like different kinds of animals, perfect. So, even though they, they look different, do you think they are the same species? Yeah. Oh, perfect, they are the same species. Yeah, but breeds are not the same as like subspecies, right? So breeds like your dog breeds and your cat breeds and now even chicken breeds, they are made from deliberate selection. Do you know what deliberate selection is? No. Okay. Deliberate selection basically means that it's not natural that they look this way, right? Breeds look different from one another because it's man-made. Yeah, and it's more or less superficial because if you look at the genes of breeds, right, they are actually still similar and compatible with each other to mate and to produce a viable offspring, right? But speciation, right? So the difference between breeds and species is that species, right, is all natural evolution. Right, it's through natural selection that happens over millions of years. Whereas like, you know, your dog breeds or even chicken breeds like your silkies, mm -hmm. um, we basically mate certain species together that have um, traits that we want. And this um, differences in appearance, right, it happens in a very short time. So it's all kind of like forced by humans. We mate certain um, uh, traits together to, to make the subsequent breed have a certain kind of feature. So that's the difference between breeds and species. Okay. They're like fighting. Okay. They fight, fight. Ready? Go! Fight, 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 fight. So okay, back to the silkies. Joanna, have you actually touched a silky before? No. No? But do you think that they are friendly? Well, at first I thought they were kind of friendly, but then one time I saw that they were running around and my thoughts changed. Oh, what happened? Like, just because they run around? No, they were like, um, hey. crying loudly and oh, running crying. around. Oh, crying. So you felt, uh, yeah. scared? Yeah. <laughs> you felt scared. But they're actually perfectly friendly. How about you, Papa? Do you think that silky chickens, do you think they're friendly? Do you think silky chickens are friendly? You think so? Yeah. So they are friendly and it's because they are bred to be docile. 
means they are bred to be very calm and, and friendly and they are perfectly safe for children to be around with and that's why you know like you say you see a lot of them in HDB blocks right they are specifically that they are bred for being pets and yeah so the origins of silkies um, they're pretty shrouded in mystery and they are more or less from China right and they are most likely bred from the beginning um, just again to be kept as pets and that's why they have this very calm and, and uh, docile nature Now that you know that they are very calm, right? Will you ever want to keep one as pets? No. Is it because you are scared of them? No, but my house has not enough space. Not enough them. space? See, she's so wise already. You're only how old? 11. 11 and she's so wise, thinking about space and not squeezing animals in a tight space. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, but you know, even though you may not want one, silky chickens, they are friendly. Um, and you are also friendly. <laughs> So I just want to thank you and you know your mama for writing in to you know want to make this episode right and it's really important to stay curious and to keep caring for nature right and so keep doing that. Okay, so this marks the end of today's episode. But before we go, Joanna would like to help me give a shout out to my patrons. Mrs. Chu, Mr. Chu, Sportsman, Juno, no 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 no, Ingla H R Queen, Limpets, Muffin, Nana, Nasi Lama, Jets. Kappa 885, Tinghu Master, Jail Block Tango, Ama Dela, Nico Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Uncle Kyung, Fonzi, Raylan Or, Crooked Spider, Lori Lai, Big Sea Circles, Amy, Emmy, Stacey, Lou, Quack Quack, Mama, Momo, YouTube.com, Air Additional Math, Pixel Plucker. Yeah, <laughs> you did so well. I think you even did it faster than me. That's so good. Uh, you know, you know what? Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly. Even you, <laughs> thank you for supporting this channel directly. And if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me. Ah! all my social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled. Come peel your eyes. Peel your eyes, peel your eyes like that. <laughs> because it is a jungle out there. There. Bye-bye. Perfect. <laughs>